Hey, Jay Chandler here. Hope you're doing great, man. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hit some balls with you sometime. Um, looking at your swing, I think you got a great swing. I mean, I'm sure you got to be a, a pretty low handicapper. Um, you know, definitely a, a conventional swing. Um, really, the only difference between you and I at a dress is, well, a couple things is I always like to I have a little bit more side bend of my spine. I, I try to get a little bit of side bend just because really a lot of great ball strikers at impact have about 25 degrees of side bend at impact. And so I try to create about 10 to 15 uh, degrees of side bend at address. Um, and what that does is it kind of aligns the, the club and the, the lead arm a little bit. And so, um, you know, most conventional, uh, you know, you kind of see the, the, the Y formed here. Um, and so you can see there's, you know, between your left arm and the club shaft, there's a little bit of an angle and you'll see like whenever you get to impact, um, didn't quite get the impact frame but at impact, the club aligns with your left arm, basically. Um, so it's just a way to really simplify the golf swing. Um, so I'd say that's kind of the main difference in the setup is I just have a little bit more of an alignment of the club and the, the left arm. Um, you know, you really make a nice uh, back swing here. I'd say it's it's on the shorter side of rotation. You know, your hips don't really rotate that much and so that's where you can probably get into some some trouble is you know if you don't rotate your hips that much in the backswing you can definitely pull some shots um or or even you know kind of fan it out to the right just kind of depends on uh on the path and so that's probably one area that I would work with you on is, is probably just getting a little bit more hip turn in the backswing. Um, and specifically, you know, like in your wedges, you know, when you're hitting like half swing wedge shots, you know, a lot of people don't like to, you know, if, if you get to where you're pulling wedge shots or, or anything like that, it usually comes from a lack of hip rotation. Um, and yeah, I think your downswing is really good. So rotation, um, release, all that's very nice. So, um, you know, a couple things that I would do is I would I would align this a little bit more and then I'd maybe get a little bit more hip rotation. Um, but other than that, would uh, would love to see um, some down the line video.